Does science prove that dressing up will make you happier? We have no idea. But we're going to find out. No, oh. we're not. Okay. But we will postulate ourselves. Yeah. Ooh. We're here getting made up without makeup. Uh, actually, we're uh, Scott and Jeff here in the, the uh, uh, one of the many uh, uh, dressing rooms yeah. at a massive theater in Sandy, Utah called the Hale Center Theater. We're talking huge, not huge, huge. huge. Although it's not an East Coast, Eastern Seaboard kind of a thing. No. We're here to talk about how to be happy, the seven ups of happiness. And one of the ups is uh, clean up well, or, or clean yourself up. You know what I'm saying? You clean up nice. And it's actually not one of the main seven ups. It's one of the bazillion other little ups of happiness yeah. that happen to reside under the umbrella of the seven ups. I think you get the idea. Our point here is that nothing will make you feel happier, quicker. It's what I would call an instant upper than kind of dolling yourself up a little yeah, bit. My wife, I, I'm telling you, she, she's from Germany, as you know, if you've been watching. And uh, she, know she's from Germany. I'm, I'm telling you. Just a regular Saturday at the house, she comes out dressed to the nines. It's just, it's just amazing. I mean, it doesn't matter. If we're going, I, I feel like, I mean, I'm dressed like this. I got shorts on, and she's dressed like she's ready to, you know, kind of go out for the night. And it's so, but, but that's just no, the way she is. is. Yeah, but why? Why is she that way? Because she is always dressing up to look nice why? when she's cleaning up. Why? <laughs> because she married me. <laughs> And there has to there be some has balance. There to be a real big contrast. <laughs> so everyone goes, how did a chump like that yeah. land a Frau like this? I tell you. For my money, the beauty of dressing up now and then, I certainly don't dress up as much as Frau Birk yeah. does. But, but there is something about catching your reflection. You know, in the mirror or in the window of a store or in the back of a spoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or whatever where you go. You know, I look pretty dang good. You know, throw a tie on now and then. Get into nice dressy clothes. Yeah. You know, if you're trying to lift your mood, really the way that you present yourself to yourself mm -hmm. can immediately pay dividends in terms of putting a smile on your face and sort of lifting your spirit. You know, just looking good. Mm -hmm. Now, women, obviously, we're in a makeup room here, right? I mean, I, I would think that for a woman, that... Um, transition or transformation is far more drastic, no offense intended, than for men, because men, we always are without makeup. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we're not yeah. going to be putting any on. But a woman who maybe goes without makeup for a while and then kind of gets all dolled up, when they see themselves, this isn't making me happy, by the way, although, yeah. ladies, it's not awful. No, no, it's not. It's when not. you're dolled up. Yeah. But this is for you. Mm. It will make you a little bit happier even in that moment. Now, you might not be able to stay dressed up all day long, or maybe it just depends on ah, no. why you're being dressed up. But think about some of the people that you know of who, who are you know, kind of scroungy or maybe informal. Yeah. And then they, has there been anybody that surprised you? You oh, know what I mean? Like well, people that you've seen that, like you see them at the Oscars or whatever. Yeah, and you go, yeah. Wow, I had no idea that they cleaned up that nicely or they looked yeah. that good. Right, now are, you, are, are we getting into our top three now? Well, we could. Yeah, we could. I was just going to say, one of the side benefits of looking up uh, is, uh, you know, you, you get upgrades when you fly. It's, it's statistically proven that if you are dressed better than other people on a flight, you have a better chance of getting upgraded. Now, the reason I say that is because, come on, think of some of the people that you have flown with. They come on board with the flip-flops, and I, 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 I've had people take their socks off yes. and put their feet. If they're in the bulkhead, they put their feet. And I had one guy that was a diabetic, and you could see his purple toes. It was just awful. It was awful. How do you so, know he was diabetic just because he had purple toes? I asked him. <laughs> I gave him a syringe. I said, please, I'm going to do this before one these, you. One of these moist towelettes. <laughs> like, sir, is there any way that we could wipe off your yeah, feet before gosh. we have to breathe recirculating oh. oxygen at 35,000 feet? That so includes there are people who have inspired, not inspired me, have surprised me that clean up very well through the years. Uh, I don't know if this would really qualify, but Urkel. Remember Urkel? So Jaleel White. Jaleel White. You remember the way he was, <laughs> right? But now you look at him, and he's got his deep voice. And there were even episodes. Remember on the show when they when they played that character, uh, the dynamic between the crazy Urkel and then this all of a sudden handsome whatever. 
but that's one that surprised me. Yeah, it cleaned up a, very well. Kind of a My Fair Lady yeah. sort of thing. You know, like yeah. Audrey Hepburn in My Fair Lady was this flower girl, you know, and then they taught her how to speak, and she looked pretty and was able to go to a horse race and yeah. not be caught yeah. as a charlatan. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Here Who are, for you? Here are my top three uh, people who clean up. That I, well, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of them, uh, I, I, but I came up with a couple. All right, so top three people in history or elsewhere that mm -hmm. clean up nice. So these are really, the, these are three and two for me. Ah, okay. okay. Any female MMA fighter. That's not, I mean, you okay. know, I, you probably don't watch mixed no, martial arts. No, I don't. I know a lot of people do. I happen to like pugilistic sports. I've always liked boxing. I've always liked anything like that. As long as it's it's officiated and there's laws and rules, I don't like fights at school. I don't like just all hell breaks loose, yeah. pull, pull, grab, punch, yeah. poke. I don't like that. But these people, they train, they deliberately do it. It's their choice. They love it. Don't feel bad for them. Mm -mm. This is what they do to make a lot of money. But female MMA fighters in the ring uh, are, are, you know, I'm just saying the transformation later or before when they kind of just look like themselves mm -hmm. is staggering. Wow, i got to start and watching more MMA. That definitely makes me happy. Yeah. It might not make them any happier, right. but I'm happy. What about you? So I already mentioned Urkel. Right. All right, that'd be my number three. Number two is Mickey Rourke. Not. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to go right to my number one. And this is an interesting one. <laughs> Mickey Rourke, by the way, in the <laughs> 80s was a handsome, He was. Scruffy... Go watch Diner. Yeah, watch the yeah, movie. He's, he's good, a good-looking yeah, guy. He, did, but he, then... he, could, he could probably put on a tux and wear it nicely. Yeah, and then you watch but... Wrestler. Yeah. Oh, oh, gosh. Or one of those, uh, Cap... one of those uh, Iron Man movies. Yeah. Where he's the bad guy. Oh. And talk about the plastic, oh, not aging graceful yeah. Mickey. Come on, baby. So here's, knew you. here's my number one. And you're going to say, what? Scarlett Johansson. The reason I Cleans say that, nice. the reason I say that, is because the first movie that I ever saw her in was Lost in Translation with Bill Murray, and she plays a very plain, no makeup y type girl who yeah. is married to Giovanni Ribisi, whatever his name is, right? And she just plays a normal role. And I'm thinking back years and years ago when I saw that movie, that she would never turn into well, the you, goddess that yeah. she is today. If you're gonna go there, then we would be remiss if we didn't mention Hilary Swank. No, because yeah. Hilary Swank yeah. started off basically playing a boy, right? In a That's movie right. where she, I, Ma, uh, is it uh, something game, something. Uh, no, no, that was the other kid. That, but anyway, I, uh, you know, and then she plays a boxer, a yeah. pugilist, and stuff. Yeah. But in really, in reality, she is quite a. She looks mm -hmm. a lot like Julie Shalapi. Remember Julie? Oh yeah, she has a very. Hey, Julie. You don't know who Julie Shalapi is, yeah. but we do. Yeah. And she was quite pretty. My number. Well, my, I guess my number one on this one was well, it's, it's not a number one, but it's another one. Meatloaf. Uh, <laughs> I, I was These are fun. I was scrambling. But in the 70s, this stringy-haired, <laughs> greasy, fat pig, I mean, he called himself Meatloaf, for heaven's sakes. Yeah. You know, on stage, he just, you know, paradise I by would the do it. Yeah. Yeah. And if you see him now, I mean, he's aged gracefully, and he's cut his hair, and he cleans up nice. My point is, if you really want to be happy, <laughs> an instant upper of happiness, you know, you might do something about that hair. <laughs> No, I don't know what your hair looks like. <laughs> but I'm saying every now and then, you know, groom yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shave, get Pick a haircut. Out the lice. Especially if you're a woman. But, but you know, put your nice clothes on and kind of, yeah. you know, uh, what's the word? Uh, uh, like a... Like a like Prance. A, uh, oh, strut you your know, stuff. Strut. Yeah, there Thank you go. You. All See, right. we can do charades after yeah. 35, 40 years. Yeah. He knows what I'm talking about. Not Canadian. Uh -uh. Um, but that'll help make you happy, even if it's just for a moment. Then you can go back to wallowing in the mire and hanging out in sure. your underwear watching The Price is Right with Absolutely. Cheetos in your belly button. Yeah. Were you inspired, enthused, and tranced about cleaning up? I know our cameraman was. Thank you very much, Nate. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you love this video, and we will promise to give you more. We'll see you next time.